To get the next step in complexity, suppose we want to track an ant which has a location and a weight. I suppose those are the two things I care about for an ant. Now a location sounds a lot like a posit, and in fact that might be a good way to represent it, some position relative to the ant's home, and for a weight, uh, a number, all we have is integers, so let's just use an integer for that. So again, I've introduced a new data type, this time ant, capital A, with just one way to make an ant, lowercase a. Uh, the thing that's slightly more interesting here is that my location refers to another type that I had previously defined, uh, whereas weight is just an integer as before. And the kinds of things I might want to do with an ant is, say, find out if the ant is home, that is, if its position is there at the origin. Um, so I'm going to take an ant and in that case return a boolean. So that's my representation step. I figured out that I want an ant with two things, where one of those things is also up, um, has a more structure inside of it. Considering the examples now for is ant at home, that means I'm going to write check and is ant at home, and then I need to write an ant. There's only one way to write an ant, which is ant open parenthesis, and then I write a location, but a location is a posit. And as we know from the previous slides, that uh, a posin, we write with posin and then two numbers, and so on. After that, I get to pick a number for the uh, ant. So if I have this ant, ant posin 0, 0, 1, uh, that ant is at home because it's at the origin. Uh, this ant is not at home because it's not at the origin. Again, uh, there's not any more boundary cases to consider other than the fact that um, I want a true case and a false case. Since my function is returning Boolean, I've got this covered. So this is a pretty good set of examples for that step. Now the template step. The template step is at home is going to take an ant. So I know that I have a location and a weight to work with. But locations are more interesting in, than integers. And so what the template says is because a location is a posin, and a posin is a separately defined type, we should probably have a separately defined helper function. Now we have to guess at the name of the separately defined function, um, because in this case it's not written yet, uh, but it seems likely that knowing whether this location corresponds to home will be the useful, useful thing. How do we get is home? Well, you replay the whole design recipe in a kind of nested form to deal with posins. You can either stop is at home and go deal with is home directly, uh, but often because you're not sure immediately from your examples uh, what this helper function would be, uh, the two processes are going to be interleaved. So I'm going to skip over some of the fine details about writing my examples for is home and so on, and just consider how the body steps play out. Based on those examples, I will see that uh, if for is home, that's really all that matters. We don't care about an ant's weight. It's only something to do with whether the location is home. So my examples would help me get to this simplification. And then I look at some examples for is home, and then I see, well, the way you decide whether it's home is whether x and y are both uh, zero. And so, again, working from the examples that I didn't include on the slides here, you can get to these completions. Again, the interesting part of this was that we had a type that referred to another type. So a good structure, a structure that's likely to be successful, is to have a function that refers to another function. In this case, you could certainly make the case that the separate function is home is overkill, but uh, what I'm trying to show you is a recipe that scales up to much more complicated programs by using these well-defined rules, like when you refer to another type, you should refer to another function. It's the process that will work in general.